Let somebody shout hallelujah. Let us pray. My home in heaven is beautiful. 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 My home in a moon 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 is beautiful. appreciate your lordship thank you lord that we came into existence by your declaration by your decree by your generous generosity and by your determination lord almighty you didn't consult anyone when you send us to the world and when we're going to exist you don't need to consult any. Many a time we feel pains. But Lord Almighty, you are the one who determine our time. We want to say thank you. Thank you, God, King of glory, for your son, a daddy in the Lord, Pastor Professor Falabo, that you call him. Thank you for the family, the church left behind. Well, thank you, oh God Almighty, my father and our mommy, because we are the only one who can put the oil of comfort in their heart. And we ask, oh God, even this season, as we celebrate life, and there's a sorrow at the part, we pray that the Holy Spirit will take over. In the name of Jesus. Now, oh God, that you have given us the opportunity to say a word. I pray that on this great altar, we will represent you well, represent our leader well. And Lord, you will bring blessing to all of us. Even those things you will release, by the time you are using my mouth to speak, I will be a beneficiary of the same. That when our time arrived, King of glory, we'll be able to see you before we see death. I'll be able to reign eternally with you and occupy our eternal home. Thank you, precious Redeemer. In the name above every other name, please give comfort to members of his family, the church of God, and all friends and colleagues 
and where we shall in the name of Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' most precious name, we pray. And let the church sound a big amen. Shout hallelujah. I want to appreciate my father, my mommy, for the privilege I'm giving to be able to bring words. And I don't know how to say it in uh, English because I may not say it correctly. Um, the Almighty God will continue to comfort you, mommy and daddy, in the name of Jesus and the extended family. Let somebody shout hallelujah. And I thank all our leaders who have put this young boy on the podium. I'd like to read from 2 Samuel chapter 14, verse 14. 2 Samuel chapter 14, verse 14. For we must need to die. And as water split on the ground, which cannot be gathered up again, Neither does God respect any person. Yet, does he despise, devise means that his banish be not expelled from him. The Lord bless the reading and hearing of his word in the name of Jesus. The reality and the blessings of death. The reality and the blessings of death. Death is a separation of the soul, spirit from the body. It may be a cessation here, but the body and the spirit, they live on at the other level. And so, persons should not be obsessed with dying, but there's something that we need to give a thought to as we live our our life our short life it doesn't matter how long because the word says a thousand years is like a day but we need to prepare and we need to bear in mind that wise king said we need to go to the house of money than where celebration is because that shows how every human being will end. But for anyone that is saved, anyone that is born again, of course, when you leave the body here, your soul and your spirit leave the body because the body is dust. You will get to the other side. The other side where God dwells. In Philippians 121, Philippians 121, Paul the apostle said for me to live is Christ and to die is gain even Balaam the soothsayer when he was talking in Numbers chapter 23 verse 10 b Numbers 23 10 b he desired to die the, die, the dead of saint of the righteous which is another word let me die the dead of the righteous. When we talk about that, let's consider first, who are those that dead we affect? Who are those that we affected by death? Hebrews 9.27 Hebrews 9.27 And as it is appointed unto man wants to die and after this, the judgment. Who are people that will be affected by death? <laughs> people of all ages. The young, the old. We are all appointed. The day of the appointment, we don't know. God knows. People of all classes. The rich, the poor, the aristocrat, the pauper. The anointed, the unanointed, the educated, the literates, the kings and the subjects. Who are those that will be affected? People of all nationalities. All must be prepared to go. It doesn't 
separate nationality. We are the one who categorize black, white, and all the like. And there are certain facts that human beings didn't want to face. We don't want to face that we are growing old. When you tell an old man, Sir, you are getting older. I say, ah, what have I done? I am just as young as anybody. And another fact is that you will reap whatsoever you show. Galatians 6, 7 said, Galatians 6, 7 said, he said, whatsoever you show, you will reap. Another fact is this. One day, suddenly, without notice, heart will stop beating. Mother, father, gone. And fact number four, there is the judgment. Appointed unto all men, and after these, the judgments. So death is inevitable. It's a price, and it's something that must happen to everyone. But for those who are born again, you are saved, washed with the blood of Jesus. There are benefits. I just want to roll out some few benefits within a few minutes I have. What are the blessings of death? Because when we talk about death, we don't, we don't see the benefit. We express our pain, how sorrowful those ones that are no longer here, how they are being. But Paul said to us, in that Philippians 1 21 Philippians 1 21 for me to live is Christ and to die is gain so what are the what is the what are the benefits I mean what are the blessing number one we have a blessing of a better body we gain a glorified body glorified immortalized resurrected body in this present clay, there are quite a lot of things. We are subject to tears. We are subject to sicknesses, sorrow, disappointment, discouragement. But when death comes, nothing like that. If it is possible for Daddy Prof. So look from the balconies above and look down. He will have been telling us, I've been longing to see this many, many years before now. Daddy is now old. He's with his maker and his master. The one he served. You gain and you have a blessing of a better body. Number two, we have a blessing of a better home. A blessing of a better home. No matter how beautiful your home here is, it can never be compared with the mansions built by the precious stones vomited from the belly of the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Revelation has to tell us that those stones that are used to build the holy city are the one that God himself has vomited and created. Jesus, in John chapter 14, 1 to 3, John chapter 14, 1 to 3, he said, let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. And he said, I want to go and prepare you a place. When I finish preparing the place, I will come back for you. We will take possession of this home either by rapture or by death. That popular song said, this world is not my home. I'm just passing through. My home laid up somewhere beyond the blue. The angels beckon me to heaven's golden gate, golden shore. And I don't feel like home anymore. Daddy must have been Singing with the angel. No longer I feel like traveling home. He's already home. Singing with an angel. 
Number three. We have blessing of inheritance. A better inheritance. Our final inheritance is not here in the world. It's in the heaven. We are speaking of inheritance that God has kept for those who love him, who serve him. In 1 Peter 1.4, 1 Peter 1.4, to our inheritance incorruptible and undefiled that faded not away, reserved in heaven for you. Our final reward is not here. No. It's only beyond the gate of death. Then we can carry what belongs to us. In Matthew 25, verse 21. Matthew 25, 21. That's when we can, when we cross the shore, that's when we can hear, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of your Lord. Number four, we have blessing of a better fellowship. Blessing of a better fellowship. All of us in this world, in a dissolving family, father gone, mother gone, friend gone, some, sometime child gone, grandparent gone. Now, if you live so long enough here, yeah, so long beyond the limit, you'll be questioning yourself. Because all the people that are known, they will have gone. So, and beyond the families here, yeah, you have the heavenly family. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Peter, Paul, John, the beloved James, Elijah, Elisha, and all them that, has, that have gone to be with the Lord. You have a better fellowship forever and ever. No night. And number five, which is the last one. We have a blessing of perpetual living with Christ. Blessing of perpetual living with Christ. Paul said in that Philippians 1 21, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Christ is more wonderful person to be with. He's wiser He's stronger, he's kinder than anyone. You will enjoy spending time with Christ. He's endlessly interesting. He knows exactly what to do with his loved one and he understands them perfectly. If you live for money, you will die. If you live for pleasure, you will die. If it is for me to live for pleasure, to die is a loss. For me to live to serve, to die is a loss. If for me to live is ambition, to die is lost. If for me to live is sin, banish permanently when that fellow die. Then let me love. You really want to meet dead prepared there are a few things I need to just roll out and I will pray whether we like it or not one of these days we will all meet with dead face to face and we need to get ready if you are born again you are yet to be born again please make it a day what are the best way to meet dead? Let me quickly say a few things. First, you need to give your heart and your life to Jesus. Give your heart and life to Jesus. Jesus said in John 11, 25 and 26. John 11, 25 and 26. I paraphrase. He promised victory over death to everyone who believes in him. 
when you give your life to him you cross from death to life number two you need to get your affairs in order one of our close relative of daddy was telling us yesterday that professor uh, daddy Abuaba put his house in order in second kings chapter 20 verse 1 second kings 21 as isaiah told Ezekiah, put your house in order pay off your debts or make arrangement to pay it off gather all the important papers and just just make sure that no controversy when god called you home third the third thing you need to live the rest of your life for christ paul said in philippians 121 for me to live for me to live is christ and to die is gain so you need to live for jesus now and lastly which is number four don't take a single day for granted don't take a, a single day for granted james 14 james 4 14 james chapter 4 14 said life is a precious gift so don't waste a single day if you are holding a grudge let it go if you are lying stop it if you are corny stop it get close to jesus when you do this thing then you'll be ready i'm concluding now daddy made a decision a long time ago that changed his life forever it changed his life his direction and destiny permanently he made choice to make christ his lord and savior in john chapter 3 verse 3 john 3 3 a man must be born again to see the kingdom of heaven in john 3 16 the word says for god so loved the world he gave his only begotten that whosoever believed in him will not perish but I have everlasting life. John 1, 12. John 1, 12. As many as believe him, he gave them the authority to live for him. The question is, are you prepared? Am I prepared to face death? So if you are in this congregation today, you are yet to be born again, or you are born again, you are living an hypocritical life. Give God a chance. Let him, let him operate upon your life. You hold a grudge. You have animosity. Clear it. Let's bow our head for prayer. Just within 30 seconds. Tell the Lord what you need to tell him. Now pray for another one minute. Please, if you are here, you want to release your life to Christ. Or you want to rededicate just put your hand on your chest eternal father thank you for the word thank you because christ is the word your word has proceeded we pray that everyone that is yet to prepare grace as they pray give them grace to prepare in the name of jesus those who are rededicating their life and those who are giving their life to him take over the affairs of their life today and let everything work out well for everyone that when they roll call up in heaven will be there to reign with christ blessed be your great and holy name in jesus most precious name we pray and let the church shout amen praise the lord Yes, let's celebrate, let's celebrate Pastor J.F. Odeshola for that thought-provoking and insightful message. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Now we want to go to the next item, which is special prayer 
for the family of our elder Professor Fola Gbadi Olajide Abuaba. May we kindly request all the family members to come to the altar for prayers. And to pray for them this evening is one of our fathers in the redeemed Christian Church of God. A retired member, but not tired, still going on with, in the service of the Lord. Our Papa Elder David Ilori will be praying for the family. May we kind, respectfully invite our daddy, Baba David Ilori, to come and pray for the Elder Abwaba family. Papa. Shall we please stretch our hands towards the family and let us pray for them. <clears throat> pray that God himself will comfort them. Let's tell the Lord to wonderfully fill the gap that our daddy, Pastor Professor Ababa, has left. Let's pray that the legacy that Baba has left behind every member of the family, we uphold it. Let's pray that none of the members of the family will miss heaven. Baba has fought a good fight of faith, and he has won. All the members of the family has left behind me. Any of them not go to hell fire in Jesus' name. Let us pray for them. Let us pray that this celebration of life that we are having in honor of Pastor Professor Abuaba, we Give glory to God. There will be no bad incidents. Those who will travel, they will be there safely and go back to their destination safely. That the glory of God will be made manifest. And many souls will be won through this celebration of life. Let's pray. Begin to round up your prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The rock of ages, the ancient of this, the everlasting Father, we thank you because you said in everything we should be thankful. Father, we thank you because you know best and that all things work together for good to them that love God. Father Almighty, we thank you because it has pleased you to take your son to yourself. We thank you for giving him the privilege to live a good life, a life of great achievements, a life that is lived, that was lived in you and ended in you here. Father, we thank you for helping him in spite of all that he might have passed through as a human being. Because you said, any one born of a woman is of a full days. And the few days are full of tribulations. 
Father, we thank you that you have helped him to stay true and to finish well. Father, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Almighty and everlasting Father, we are committing all these members of the family to you. The immediate family, the relations. Father Almighty, come and comfort them in Jesus' name. Father, console them in Jesus' name. The gap that Baba has left behind, fill it in Jesus' name. Lord, after the demise of Baba, let there be peace in this family. Let there be joy in this family. Father, let there be progress in this family. Father Almighty, let your presence ever be with them in Jesus' name. Wherever they turn, Father, bear, their, bear them find favor. Favor with you and favor with men. Even what Baba could not do for them, why was I lie? Father, do more for them in Jesus' name. Father, now God, whatever does that have been shot against your children that might not allow them to reach their destiny, Father, open it wide in Jesus' name. Anytime they look unto you for help, Father, instantly answer them in Jesus' name. Every battle of life that they have to fight, Father, fight for them in Jesus' name. Keep sickness away from them. Keep evil away from them. Keep premature death away from them. Let it be well with them. Promote them, Lord. And let them live a wonderful life, too. Let them live a life of achievements, too. Let them live a life that will please you. Father, as the celebration continues, continue with them. In the name of Jesus. Anywhere they go, during this celebration, Father, stand by them. In the name of Jesus. After this celebration, let them be able to say, God has been so good. Father, we thank you. And when it is time to call any of them home at old age, let them be able to make it to heaven. Thank you, Father. And all of us that are celebrating this celebration of life with them, help us too, Lord. The Adesh says, the death that took the elephant is warning the, full, the buffalo to get prepared. The grace to prepare when you shall come or when you will take us as individuals, help us, put, help us in Jesus' name. Don't let us be caught on our ways by death in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Thank you, Let us celebrate our father, Baba David Ilori, member of the governing council, retired of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Announcement. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Once again, we welcome us to RCCG House of Favor, Redemption City, Church Headquarter. It is our prayer that uh, every one of us will live long in Christ in Jesus' name. This, these are the few information in continuation of celebration of life of our Father that God has taken home. Tomorrow there will be a service of song uh, at the following location and on Wednesday also. 
there will be funerary service. The address for tomorrow service of song is coming up at RCCG Redemption Pavilion Parish by 2295 Gide Oki Street of the Gali Ayori Day Avenue, Phase 3. And the time scheduled for tomorrow program is by 3 p.m. Also, on Wednesday, the 8th, the funerary service will take place at RCCG Resurrection Parish, number one, Resurrection Drive, First Gate, Jack on the Estate. Please come around to celebrate the life of this great icon. And the time for Wednesday funeral service is by 10 a.m. Praise God. The headquarter church cordially invite every one of us here at Redemption City of God for a special program, a monthly special program tagged is my tongue. The edition for February is coming up on the 17th of this month. You are all invited. Come and you'll be greatly blessed by 8 p.m. God bless you as you come in Jesus' name. Thank you, Pastor Stephen Simido, Pastor in charge of Zone, as of favor. We want to begin to round up this program and to anchor the vote of thanks. Is the Secretary of the Redeemed Christian Church of God Technical Advisory Board is also the head of the electronics, TV, and sound of the mission, Elder Prince Nyoju Likbede, on behalf of the family. You are invited, sir, to give the vote of thanks. After that, we will take him for all standing in Christ alone. Praise the Lord. I want to thank the Almighty God first on behalf of the families for giving us a wonderful father, uncle, husband that has made all of us to be here today to celebrate his life and to be proud of all that he's been able to achieve during his lifetime. I want to seize this opportunity to thank the Almighty God for even assisting us through the programs of the celebration. I want to thank the General Vasya, our daddy, through my mommy here. Let me say something before I thank him finally on that. On Monday before daddy passed away, passed away he requested to see his daddy in the Lord. And he came to the, to the bedside to see him because he said he will only go if daddy Gio decides to release him. I... Uh, okay. We begged him afterwards. But because daddy had released him, he left. I didn't want to do this vote of thanks because of emotions. But mommy has been wonderful supporting the family since then. <laughs> left, right, center. Mommy, you are not just the mother in Israel, you are the mother in Redeemed Christian Church of God. You are the mother in Nigeria. And you are the mother all over the world. Thank you, Ma. Even as she was entering this place today, she didn't forget to bring the envelopes for three of us. Thank you, Mommy. God bless you, Ma. We will see you tomorrow, definitely, ma'am. And you will speak. I also want to thank the governing council 
the trustees that are here present thank you for honoring him god bless you to us Amma. i want to thank the national overseer current and immediate past who puts this together with their offices thank you very much sirs i want to thank the elders who are here elders of various ages are two are still young god bless you sir Amma. i can never forget the choir never forget the choir the job you brought tears out of my eyes because that is his joy he loved that song as well i want to thank the ushers and the technical department for this together and most importantly i want to thank the redemption city members that are here in the congregation and i found time to come here to help us say good night to our uncle and father i would want to use this opportunity again to say that i hope because you are here today you will not say you will not come on wednesday and you will not come on tuesday tomorrow this is your own program for him wednesday and thursday is our own program for him that we want you to come and by the grace of god we shall all be there thank you very much We shall be there tomorrow and on Wednesday as invited specially by Elder Yonjuli Bede. Shall we please kindly be outstanding as we take the closing in and the closing prayer thereafter will be anchored by the pastor in charge of Region 31 and the Intercontinental Financial Controller Pastor Joseph Adeyokono will anchor the closing prayer and the benediction after the closing in in Christ alone. Shall we please be upstanding? Choir.
Father, King of glory, we bless your holy name. We thank you, Lord, for the good life, life of impact, and the great legacy left by our beloved Pastor Professor Folua Baba, who has come to be with you in heaven. Thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord, for the family. We thank you for the church. We thank you that we are here celebrating, not mourning, because your dear son lived a good life. Be thou glorified and be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. We commit the rest of our activities to your hands tomorrow and on Wednesday. Please, Father, take control. Have your way. Let the weather continue to cooperate with us. We ask for joint mercies, Lord, for everyone who will be involved, family, members, friends, well wishers, people will be coming from far and near. We say there will be no any evil occurrence in the name of Jesus. All items in use, food, drink, equipment, Father, please sanctify them all. In the name of Jesus, we ask, O oh Lord, that no sorrow will be added to these activities. In the name of Jesus, be thou glorified. For we have prayed in Jesus' mighty name. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and i shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen praise ye the lord <laughs>